Hi everybody, it's Trudy from Waveworks Studio again, my studio here in Naramata, British Columbia, Canada. I uh, just wanted to let you know that um, there's times when you want to do a background painting and um, you don't want to get too technical with it. You might have some leftover paints that you want to get rid of. So I thought I'd show you my little simple um, background technique, um, kind of like a never fail kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to use up some blues and some uh, teal kind of thing and a little bit of yellow and white. So this is um, an idea that I came up with when I was doing interior design, doing um, a lot of wall finishes and different things. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I have just a, a plain um, piece of black garbage bag. <laughs> and I have a wood canvas already primed. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blue in there like that. And put a little bit of teal. Tiny bit of yellow, not too much, just a little bit of yellow. So sometimes like when you're doing like just a background and you're painting and you just want to get it really nice and soft without having to do too much brushing. Now this is um, just ordinary art paint that's mixed with half Floetrol. So this is that Floetrol medium, it's a paint extender, it's all latex. So then I take one of my big brushes and I just kind of like go back and forth like this with it. Just a little bit, dragging it. There. And like that. Then I take a piece of plastic. Right? I just use plastic from that's wrapped in my canvases are wrapped in. And I place that over top of that. And smooth it out. And then pull up on that. And then I take it, put it down on the canvas. Just smooth it out a bit like that. And if you use clear plastic, you can tell what's going on so you know when you can smooth it a little bit more in areas. And you just peel it off like that. And then you can go back again, pick up a little bit more paint, do it again in a little area, do it again here, there, get a little messy, and do your edges, you can do your edges after too. There. Now that's a really nice soft finish for doing the background in your paintings. You can do it in any color. I'm going to do some more peacock paintings so I thought that would look really nice with it. <laughs> Got a little bit of a another print going on there. There we go. It's kind of messy, it's kind of fun, and that's how it's done. Just let it dry and it's going to go all nice and soft. Okay, so I'll be doing more videos, more little quick tips on easy way to paint and get you out of the box. Bye for now.